Um, I'm really lucky because I'm a, an Islander. I live out here. And so I live out here. Oh, okay. Yeah, my parents met here, and so there's a, um, we have a, a two family houses. And so I kind of go back and forth. I'm basically what you'd call a big pooch. Like, I, I basically stay, stay in my parents' house. Uh, but I've been able to do that since I was a little kid. And so I, no, I don't stay here in the winter. Um, I'm a school teacher. And so I teach sixth grade. I teach sixth grade science. And uh, we're great. Ah! All right. So I teach sixth grade science. And um, so I only do this on the weekends until school's out. How long until school's out? Oh, really? So next uh, the week after next. All right. Yeah, so we're, we have, um, we got one more week after that. So not too bad. I teach up in Granby. Oh. So um, I live I live in the center of the city. In the, in the, during my real world, uh, my real life. This is just my fake life. Do you live it? It's a great so life. I'm so, so Do you live in Granby? I don't live in Granby. I live in uh, Hartford. Oh, okay. Yeah. We're, I'm from Plainville. Oh, okay. Yeah. Perfect. Same here. So, so yep. So we, um, so I, I live here and do this in the summertime. There, you've taken the tour before. Yeah. Uh, is anyone else taking the tour before? No. Okay. So the Thimble Islands, there are. They say that there's 365 different rocks, reefs, and islands out here, making up the Thimble Islands. In truth, that's really not true. There's really only 30 real islands that you can have or any on. Uh, the rest are just tiny little rocks that stick their head above surface at one point in time um, during the day. Now, they were first found in 1614. Oh, I forgot to mention, in the very unlikely event of an emergency, up through the front hatch, that's where our life vests were located. Got my chair down. Um, so, in 1614 was the first time that they were kind of discovered, and that was by a man named Adrian Block, and his job for the European government was, was to basically chart all of the New England coastline. And so, down in that direction is where the East River is in New York, and so they came in there, moved along through the coastline, through the Thimble Islands, and then went out and I'm just going to kind of point my boat where the entrance is to the Atlantic Ocean. So if we were to go this direction probably three days at this speed, we eventually would get to the Atlantic Ocean. And, um, and so that's what happened.